Hello, happy Sunday morning. How are you doing today? Welcome to Chalk A Lot One. My name is Beth Hitchcock. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. And we are finishing up some bags today to take on my trip next week. So um, we're gonna have a lot of fun. I love doing inking. Um, I've done, this is my third bag. Um, my goodness, look at this hair. I'm trying to let it grow out. So um, it looks looking a little bushy, but just I'll just deal with it. Um, if you're hopping on, would you please say hello? I would love to know you're there. Also, would you share this and uh, sprinkle it to your other crafty friends that might enjoy watching um, a fun inking project today? Let me see, today is the 30th. Um, you have today until 11.59 Mountain Time tomorrow to get in on the Great Transfer Palooza deal. And that's where you buy three transfers and get one free. And um, these transfers are reusable eight to 12 times with good care. And they are amazing uh, vinyl silk screen transfers. So let's go down here. Yesterday I did a quick live for a friend who was um, needing some help with her paste, I think drying in, in the silk screen. And so I said, oh, I'll just go on and do a quick little live for you. It's the best way to get the video out there to you quickly. And like the first, I don't know, seven, eight minutes of it, I didn't put the uh, camera down. <laughs> so that was kind of a mess. Anyways, I have my ink mat in here already. There it is, you can see it under there. And so the ink mat is sticky. That holds the fabric in place. And it also prevents um, the ink from going through to the other side. And these are great, these are really great bags. So I'm kind of excited to do this. I have my squeegees here and we're going to use this beautiful meadow paste for a little bit of greeneries there. And let's see, I wanna use a little bit of this pretty couture, is that what it is? Yeah, couture coral. Give a little pop of color in there for those flowers. And then I was thinking of gold for honey. I think that'll show up on that. What color, what would you call the color of this bag? Kind of a, Mm. Well, it looks like our golden hour. A little bit darker, though. And then... Oh, I want black. I want that bumblebee in black. Let me try and find one that's already opened here. Because the little parts... Not much left in there. Oh, that'll work. Um... The parts where the wings are green, that means that the uh, yellow will show through underneath. And so I thought that would look cute. <clears throat> oh, what color are we going to do the words in? Um, uh, that's a good question. Push this down. You know, white might be pretty on this. I think white, I think white will pop on that. So let me find some white ink. Oh, I know, I was thinking gray. That's what we were thinking. I was thinking storm, because I love gray and, and yellow together. All right, we got, a, we got a little plan going here. Let me find my multi-purpose tools. These are super handy for small projects, or, you know, little areas up there. And what's so great about working with the ink is that you don't have to hurry. You don't have to worry about your paste drying. So let's get these little buds up here. And it's a good idea to start above the area you want the ink on. Some people um, go just up and down. I kind of just tend to get it on there. 
That's good. Let's wipe this off. We're going to need it down here. Yeah, we'll get these little doodads down here. Little buds, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Even our um, smaller tool would work. The, um, what do you call that tool? The one with the pokey end on it. Okay, there's that. I'll wipe this off. Now let's get our beautiful meadow. I haven't looked in the back office lately to see. I know the inks were out of stock or they were trying to get them back in stock. I'll check when I'm done to see if they're in stock. And then this is, I ordered these bags um, from a <clears throat> tote bag company. Such a great price on them and they're, they're really nice quality. Um, so if you're interested in that link, let me know and I will get that to you. We are going to have a barbecue today. I'm excited about that. <clears throat> Susan tried a new recipe. She's such a good cook. She um, made a quick sauerkraut. So it won't be fermented, but it'll have, you know, the nice vinegary taste to it. And we're going to Grill some hot dogs and hamburgers. And make some baked beans. You know, a real summer barbecue. And these bags are going to be for my trip that Susan and I are going on to see <clears throat> my other daughter, Nicole, and her kids. I thought it would be fun to have some bags to carry our stuff to the lake and things like that. Excess ink off of there. A little bit more, and then it gets a little less tedious. So I think we got that pretty good. So far, so good. All right, <clears throat> now let's get Small Squeegee and our Storm. I love this color Storm. It's kind of a uh, taupey looking to me. And I'm starting just above the letter where the silk screen is. I'm going to get these lines here too. Move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. Move that up.
And then when we go to pull up, we'll pull up really slow so we can just lay it back down if we need to, to um, add more ink if we have any areas that are didn't get covered just the way we wanted them to. I try to go one direction with the ink. Oops, shoot, I got really close to the honey on that one. Okay, let's get down here. I try to go one direction. I don't always succeed. meaning um, up and down or sideways. It's not the best way to do the inking. extra off. Okay, there's that. Let me wipe my fingers. Get a clean one since I used that. Now we'll get our little make sure. Let me stick that down. <clears throat> it kind of came up a little bit on us and I want it really as stuck as possible to that fabric. Let's get a little black on here for our little bee. That might be too much. Boy, the hummingbirds are really going through their uh, water, sugar water. refilled it again this morning. It made a double batch, so I had it in the fridge. I'm going to go this way just because it's not really wanting to pick up really good. There we go. Okay, now let's do our honey and we're going to use gold, shimmer gold. I hope that shows up okay on this yellow bag. Okay, now check my fingers. Now we're gonna peel up slowly. Let's get that K a little bit better. That got all messy, I need a new one. The K I said, I think. Oh, the D. Okay. 
That looks good. Oh, that looks good. Uh, I don't really like the bee too much. Oh, well. Too late now. There's no getting the black ink off of that. But the rest of it came out really nice. Okay. Well, there's that one. That's cute. I'm going to wash this real quick. I have my pan of water over here. Maybe should have done the bee in the gold too. Oh well. The gray, um, the storm color almost on the, with the, you know, the, whatever color your surface is, it changes the tone. It um, looks really pretty. It looks almost lavender. So that's nice. Okay. Flip this over. And put it on the microfiber side of my fuzzing cloth. And take another fuzzing cloth and just press down on it. And that absorbs most of the water. And then sometimes what I like to do <clears throat> is just flip my transfer over and um, go back over it just with my damp board eraser to see if I can pick up any extra pigment on the front. There you go. And then you always let these dry sticky side up and that'll be dry in just a minute. So let's put these tools away here. extra paste or ink back in your jar so you save it for your next project and I think this black ink is like it's like a bottomless well it just keeps going maybe one or two more projects with that little bit <clears throat> Take our ink mat out of there. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. There we go. Okay. That looks pretty good. I really think we need to wipe that off right now. Um, we'll dry this. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is just let this uh, dry overnight or for 24 hours and then I'll heat set it. <coughs> I think I have time to do one more right now, though. This was the second one I wanted to do. Now this fabric feels a little bit different. It doesn't feel as thick as that one, so that's interesting. It'll be fine though. And put our ink mat back in here. Then we'll be done. I think then I think I'll be done with bags. I have a Memorial Day pasting project that I want to do for a fallen soldier that I took care of in hospice. Press that down. Okay, I'm gonna use the Sweet Lemon Grove. I love this transfer. This is uh, this month May's Club Couture transfer. So if you don't know what Club Couture is, 
It's a monthly subscription that we offer. Uh, it's $19.99 a month, and every month you get a really cute on-trend transfer. And I've done several projects with this. I just love it. It says, Sweet Lemon Grove, where troubles melt like lemon drops. And I'm going to try... I think I'm going to use... a. Well, we have bumblebee for yellow for the lemon, and we're gonna we're gonna add squeeze the day in there somewhere. Where do we want to put this? Right up here? Right down here? We'll put it down here. Nope, that's not on the ink mat all the way. I can feel it through there. So. the way down. Well, maybe we'll do that when we're, after we've got through here a little bit. So we have uh, green and yellow, and I need white. Maybe, hmm. let's get our white ink. Let's go with three colors. Sometimes if you try to do too many colors, like with that bumblebee on that other one, you kind of go overboard and it doesn't work out in your favor. Oops. I didn't put my apron on today and I always wipe my hands on my apron. Okay, so I think we'll go yellow, green, white. Hmm. And maybe yellow down here. I think I'm gonna do the yellow and see how it transfers. We'll pull it up a little bit and see what we get. knob of that lemon. There we go. Um, let me see what that looks like. I'll pull it up real quickly. Oh, it looks good. Okay. Let's do sweet lemon. Let's just do that too. It's a good color on that green. We're going to do all this in yellow down here. And then we'll get a nice crisp white for the gravel. So we'll do this all yellow.
go. You can see where it looked like it wasn't wanting to transfer through. <clears throat> I think I just needed to put a little more ink on it. that excess scraped up here and <clears throat> if you're new at inking you might want to <clears throat> um, tape off around the edges so you don't risk going off And then last but not least, we'll get our word grove in beautiful bright white. So it just pops for us. That feels like it's ink, but it feels like the creamy, dreamy paste. I had to double check. Everybody must be busy today. So if you catch this on the replay, if you would please put hashtag replay. And if you have any questions, um, drop those in the comments. Like and follow my page, please. And you can hit the notification to be notified of when I go live. I go live almost every day for your viewing pleasure. All right, that looks good. Let's see how we did it with this one. Oh, that's cute. Let's see if I can get that V a little bit better. <clears throat> That's good. That's really cute. Wash this one. So I was showing these to my daughter yesterday, the ones that we did yesterday, the flower pot, the bucket. <clears throat> Bucket of Blossoms, I think it was called, Bucket of Flowers. Um, and then the Red, White, and Blue Popsicles. And um, she said, oh, hey, I wanna, can we use those for gift bags? I said, absolutely, perfect idea. Let me move our honey one. 
off to the side here so I can do this. And I just figured out where we're gonna put the squeeze the day. That is cute. There we go. Um, what if we put squeeze the day on the handle? Let's see if we can get it on there. I go, I went off the handle. I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. Um, let's see, should it go this way? It should go this way. <clears throat> Maybe it should go at the top. Oh, yeah, we'll put it at the top this way. Perfect. Does it fit on there? I think it does. does. Okay, the only thing is <clears throat> it's probably going to go through to the other side. So do we want that? Why not? Let me see. Let me put this on. I think what we better do is dry this a little bit first. Feels pretty good. Okay, now I feel like I can put it here. <clears throat> I am upside down. I realize that. Okay, maybe we got lucky and it didn't go through too badly. That's cute. And it did not go through. Yay! Okay, I'm going to wash this little guy off here.
here's our little little shopping bag. All right, so let me put these away. I think I'm done with bags for right now. Um, they sure were fun to do. Thanks for hanging out with me while I did them. I appreciate you guys watching and commenting. It helps that old Facebook logarithm. So if you haven't tried inking before, you should try it. Um, it's pretty easy. It's one of my favorites. Well, all of both of these projects, um, you know, inking or um, using the chalk paste, they're my favorite thing to do. I love being able to show you guys how fun it is and um, how easy it is to make something useful too is fun. So let me get our, let me get, just grab the other bag that we just did so we can have, <clears throat> we can see. So there we go. There's the two projects today. And we did that in 37 minutes and 30 seconds. So what you think? I think they came out really nice. Let's go up here. All right. Well, thank you so much for um, sharing part of your Sunday with me. I hope that you have a great rest of the day and um, happy Memorial Day tomorrow. Um, enjoy time with your family and friends. Um, that's what it's all about. So uh, until we talk again, take care.